for today's practice. Um, we won't need any props except for maybe a couple of blocks or maybe even a chair or um, even if you have a windowsill in front of you, you can um, have that nearby. And we'll begin standing today. This is a little bit more of a, an energizing flow, um, strengthening these stems of ours. So when you're ready, grab everything you need and come to stand at the top of your mat. Feet are about hip distance apart, maybe even a little wider, and try to parallel your feet. And just take a few moments here, maybe even kind of let the hips shimmy side to side so you can feel really strong in your center here. Let the arms reach down by your sides and take a couple of shoulder rolls here. And then match it with your breath. So inhale, roll them forward and up. Exhale down. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's let them stay down now. Bring the palms together in front of your heart, pressing palm to palm. Lift your heart into your thumbs and the thumb pressing into the heart, creating this upward moving energy of squeezing the feet, even though they're not moving, you're almost trying to drag them toward each other and then lift the heart up into your thumb. So this is creating um, your Ujjayi breath or your root and Udayana Bandha. If it feels like, you know, too much for any reason, just let it go and let the breath be easy and, and don't even worry about it. It's totally fine. And if you want to stick with it, try to focus on that, that steady breath in and out. And feeling very stable in your feet, lifting through your heart. We'll take a deep breath in together. And open mouth, exhale. As you take your next inhale, let's open the arms into a cactus. So elbows are bent out, about in line with your um, shoulders. They might be a little lower. Just notice kind of where feels the most um, comfortable for you. And just take your circles here into your wrist. And while you're focusing on rolling into your wrist, think about your shoulder blades, your scapula along the back ribs. So pressing down through your feet and magnetically drawing your feet toward each other. Let's go ahead and go the opposite direction with those hands. Feel the shoulder blades kind of sliding in and down. Sometimes that visual can help. And feel this sensation of stretch along the front of your chest here. And it might feel super intense. It might feel very subtle. Just notice how it feels today and take one more breath in that space. And exhale, hands return together in front of your heart. Good, let's take that one more time. Inhale, open up. Take one circle in one direction and one circle in the other direction. And exhale, we'll close it in. Okay, good. Just one more time. Inhale, opening and rolling up. And exhale, rolling close. Good. Now we'll take the next inhale and lift the heart into the hands as if you're taking a little back bend here. So lengthen the tailbone down and lift the heart into the thumbs. Maybe you even lift the nose up toward the sky. Feel a sense of upward moving, upward lifting. And as you exhale, a little bend into the knees, hinge at the hips and fold forward. The hands might come to your blocks. They might come to your, um, your windowsill or even um, a chair. And here, just allow the hips to roll here side to side, bending into one knee, maybe creating a long 
waist on your left side and exhale, sweep the hips over to the other side. And take it just a couple more times, allowing the side of your ribs to open up, really using the block for support. And come on into your fold here. So lift and lengthen out through the spine. And as you exhale, maybe you bend into the arms a little bit. Maybe you bend into the knees a little bit. Just start to allow yourself this surrender. And it doesn't matter how far down you fold. It also doesn't matter if your knees are bent or straight. Just let your head feel heavy, the feet root down a little deeper. Feel the muscles of your face kind of slide up. Feel your weight come into your heels, press into your hands as you come on up to a flat back, inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to walk the blocks back. And we're going to step the right foot back. So keep that heel lifted. The left knee is going to be bent over your left ankle. And you might have a super big step. You might have a shorter step. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Feel the length again sort of lifting out through the heart. And notice what's going on in your hips here. Can you drag your left hip crease back? Maybe bend a little deeper into that left knee. And just breathe here. Notice what you notice, but don't attach yourself to it. Feel lots of space in the back body. Feel a big stretch along your left leg, your calves. Good, now let's just step the right foot up, bending into both knees, let's come to stand. Notice how you feel here between right and left. Maybe you take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale as the hands come together in front of your heart. And on your next inhale, open, arms out, cactus here, rolling into the wrists. And exhale, return hands to heart. With your breath, take that two more times. So inhale, opens up. Allow that shoulder, excuse me, your shoulder blades to slide in and down. And exhale, close it in. Good, inhale. And exhale. This inhale, we stay with the hands together in front of the heart, tip the tailbone down, lift the heart, maybe a tiny little back bend here, feel the front body open up, and exhale, bending into your knees, hinge at the hips, both hands down to your blocks. And again, inhale, lengthen the spine, full breath. And exhale, allow the surrender, fold it in. You can stay here as long as you like. Feel the shoulders start to get heavy and kind of slump forward. And then start to slide your shoulder blades toward your hips. Press your palms into your blocks, lift and lengthen halfway. And this time we'll step the left leg back, maybe walking the blocks back. Breathing fully in, nice and slow. Take everything you need here. So even if you come up onto your fingertips, find that opening in your collarbones. And exhale, left foot steps in, and we rise all the way up. 
Hands together in front of your heart. Open the mouth, exhale. Inhale, find your cactus. Open those arms. Nice and slow, super gentle. Exhale, round it in. Hands to heart. Lift inward and up. And now open it up. Exhale, draw it in. Last one, open it here. And draw it in. Pressing thumbs into heart. Heart lifts into your thumbs. Lift and open the front body here. And exhale, take a gentle fold. Move as slowly as you like. Hands to your blocks. Flat back. And exhale this time. As we step the right foot back, we're going to lower the right knee. Untuck the toes. Right hand stays on the block. Just maybe draw it back so that it is in line with your left foot. And the right hand will stay there. As you inhale, sweep your left hand forward and up. And it doesn't matter how bent this arm is or how high it goes. Just think about lifting the left shoulder up and over. So it might even feel nice to take your left hand to your chest and use that right hand on the block to lift the heart away here. And if you want to extend that arm in any capacity, you may do so. Don't hold your breath. Slow and steady. Inhale. Slow and steady. Exhale. Start to return the chest toward neutral. Left hand is going to come down to the block. And here, we're just going to bring your left knee down. Let the hips come back. And maybe the arms stay on your blocks as you lower the heart. Maybe you let the hands and the forearms come down to the earth and allow yourself this moment of reprieve. Breathe steady into the back of the heart. Exhale to let it go. Slowly to come up. Use the hands to press into the floor. Come up onto your knees. And hands together right, excuse me, right in front of your heart. Knees are planted and we're going to Squeeze them in and up, lift through the heart again, that opening into the front body, very subtle, lengthen the tailbone down toward the floor. Feel this, this activation of your glutes working. Take one more steady breath. And exhale to return. Take both hands, place them on your heart, and just remember the safety that you are in in this moment. Having full agency over your body and your breath. Sometimes that opening through the chest can bring on feelings of energetic and you know, kind of ready to go. Sometimes it can go a little too far and kind of bring you into this sense of, I don't want to call it anxious, but there is kind of this sense of um, just very alert. And so just having that moment after of, of calm and of reminder to just take it easy can be really nice. And if you have taken a seat, we'll begin to come on up and we'll step the right foot forward, hands come to your blocks. I forgot to mention this would be a great 
time to have a blanket under your knees here. So know that you always have the power, especially the power of pause with this technology to, you know, hit the pause button and grab what you need. But from here, left hand is now going to be on the block, right in line with that right ankle. And the right hand is going to sweep forward. And then again, maybe the hand comes to the heart as you start to lift the heart up toward the sky. So you're creating this twist. And you could also have that arm reaching out long if that would feel nice. Drawing that left, excuse me, the right thigh in toward the midline and up through the heart. Take one more breath. And exhale, return right hand to the block. Both knees down. This time, let yourself come into a nice, restful child's pose. You can have the arms stretched out in front of you. You could even let them come back and just kind of let them be heavy as you rock the hips side to side. Breathing fully in and remembering that it doesn't matter how tight of a ball your child's pose is, it's always just how it feels. Can you feel comfortable and supportive of yourself here? Using that compression of your thighs to your belly to take a deep inhale. And open the mouth, just let that big sigh go. You can take two more breaths just like that. Or let them be steady and easeful. And when you feel ready, press the palms into the floor, begin to rise on up. And you lift the face toward the light, open your eyes, bring it on. And think of one, two, or three, minimum of one thing that you are grateful for in this day and in this moment. Even if that one thing that you're grateful for is that we are coming down onto our backs. That is also many a time for the thing I'm grateful for. Let the knees come into your chest and just allow yourself this moment of calm, collective, breath here. Use the next few rounds of breath to move in any way that feels kind of inviting to you here. I really enjoyed feet to the earth for this extra added of grounding with a little bit of swiveling of the knees side to side, just letting gravity kind of do the work of opening me up twisting me side to side. We've done a lot of heart opening today. If you would like just a little bit more, we'll come into a little bridge pose. So this one is a little bit more active of a bridge pose. We won't use the support underneath us unless you prefer in this moment, you can go ahead and take that agency over yourself. If you want to work a little bit, press the palms into the mat. Heels are going to be in line with the hips. And you'll begin to tuck the tailbone and pause right there. So you're pressing the, um, the spine, the low back, kind of into the mat as you're tucking the tailbone. Feel the glutes start to activate here. And right there in that spot, press the heels of your feet 
firmly into the earth. Allow that activation to come in a little bit more. And then from there, start to lift the hips nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Pausing when it feels like the right place for you to pause. And then exhale, gentle roll on down. Really try to tuck the tailbone as much as possible, creating lots of space in the low back. Good, and we'll take just one more like that, and especially